trouble. He's sacked! Taken down by Wesley Woodyard. 69 yards. Derrick Henry. Touchdown, Titans! Tennessee will not go quietly on this Sunday. Welcome to Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. Glad to have you with us for our bye week show. You excited? I am excited. I love a good bye week. Oh, 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 stop that. Wesley, is, Wesley Woodyard. This is my show now. Your show. That's you good. guys can leave. Let the pros take over. I said, leave. Mike, I think, he's, I think he's go. serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been on this show 17 go, go, years. Mike, just I, go. This is my show. Go. It's always been my show. Hi, I'm Wesley Woodyard, inside linebacker for your Tennessee Titans. You know, the bye week gives us players a chance to take a break and recharge for the rest of the season. This year, I wanted to work on my skills as a broadcaster, and I asked some of my teammates to join on this player takeover episode of Tennessee Titans All Access. As a player, you never really know a guy until you see him on the field. Left guard Roger Saffo and safety Kevin Byers stopped by the studio to watch some of the best mic'd up clips so far this season. Tell them to finally get you some best. You no, know, they just caught up. They just caught him and they just hemmed him oh, this year. Hemmed yeah. Let's go, Todd. Let's go, CD. Well, I got ahead of cutoff shirt. Always. We're going to have to really stay alive on this pass rush, okay? Yep, yep. I know they're max protecting. I love his coaching techniques nah, right before the game. Bro, he's always on the sideline coaching. Half the time, I don't think he actually sees, watches the game. He might be on the sideline on the defensive bench talking. There you go, man. It's a beautiful yeah. day. Weather can't get no better than this. We in Nashville about to tighten up, man. <laughs> Nobody's more passionate than Wood, man. Nah, for sure. Every game. And the Ooh, Titans nice a great job. Somebody step up, make a play. Ooh. Just keep doing that all day. We'd be just fine. Oh, Take over the dome. Uh-huh. Take over the dome. Take over the dome. Go as hard as you can all day. Every play, go as hard as you can. Go as hard as you it can. It sounds like you know the camera, the, that microphone's on you. Yeah, I did a little bit. <laughs> I, was, I was turned up this game, though. I ain't going to lie. Get the field. At the 25, at the 20. Get the field. 20, at the 15, at the 10. I ain't going to lie. Once he broke down, when I seen him catch that slant, I said, but that's his number one route right there. Bang eight. Man, I knew. I knew you was going to be excited on that sideline. Yeah, for real. Hey, way ready to play. Titans 7, <laughs> Falcons nothing. I have no idea what's going on in that touchdown celebration, by the way. Bro, y'all just jumped in the circle, bro. Just like. Ryan under pressure. Hit. Falls out. Always around the ball. Hey. I thought I was going to get the ball for a minute. <laughs> you definitely ran in there like you nah, were going to get know it. No, I did. Casey just got it, though. Teams going at it on an NFL Sunday. They don't get no better. Don't nobody better more energy than Bates, bro. No, nobody does. On, on TV timeouts, Bates just running the field, and let's go! <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was hyped. I was hyped after seeing that, man. <laughs> I was like, we still got a chance with these boys. All right. I said, I'm Ali, that follow? Ali, Ali? Man, that follow. Oh, man, they do this thing every yeah, game. They, say, oh, they always saying that. <laughs> so we gonna come with it. Razor blade. We gonna come with it, baby. Sit and need it. Sit and need it. Why grabbing his hair like that? Bring him down the hair on top of your head. <laughs> do this, man. A lot of people die for this. Why not us, man? Let's have a day. Pick each other up. Everything you got, man. We get to do this. We get to do it. Remember that. Logan with his pregame speeches. Oh, this was excellent. Huh. This was unbelievable. I was trying to break the tackle. Yeah, yeah, you could have scored right there. You got to pick your feet up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I need more practice, bro. I need more practice. Huh. Now, I'm the first person over there, and he just does does not acknowledge me at all. Bro, Corey don't got, really don't got no celebrations, bro, honestly. AJ Moore got good celebrations. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love that we're scoring touchdowns for y'all, too. Nah, for sure. You guys are ball. Oh, good play. Takes the stamp. Gives it inside. Get this was excellent. Barber, no, sir. That was huge. Three. Look at all that energy. Right here. Get the player of the game right here. I'm trying to get like him. Hey, he's playing like the best going in the league right now. <laughs> That's a fact. That is a true fact. And what I love about this team is that they're such a tight group together from the beginning. So, you know, being able to welcome me in with open arms and then being able to work with these guys on and off the field, you know, I get to just see more of this, which just leads me to be more connected with them. 
he just kind of warned guys about, okay, hey, I'm mic'd up, I'm mic'd up. Don't say nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? You just, you just never know. Just going to give you a heads up. I'm mic'd up, so I'm the feds today. What? Yeah, I'm the feds, bro. It just, it's just really much uh, looking out for your brother, just in case. Of course, you know a guy might not say nothing crazy, but, you know, it's just kind of funny. We always joke and laugh. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I, I can't, I can't lie. I've had to make sure that everybody knows that I'm mic'd up whenever I'm mic'd up. And over the years, I've been through everything. I've, I've been mic'd up in, you know, really big wins, playoff games, and even getting injured. That was the worst, because I found out that I said some crazy stuff after I got injured. So, I mean, this is a great way to get the fans connected with us, but we also want to make sure that we, you know, be good role models as well. If you mic Darren Bates up, I think you're gonna hear a whole lot of profanity. That's what I would definitely <laughs> say. So uh, he's not changing for anyone. Not for anybody. I mean, this guy's the type of dude. You know, pregame, got his headphones in. He's rapping every single lyric. Hey, oh, yeah. hey. Oh, oh. my dog, war time the wolves. I ain't hit the wolves. Oh. Out loud, he doesn't care about who's next to him, anything like that. But I just love how you know genuine and like you say, he's just he just all out with his personality. Just shows and shines everywhere. <laughs> The one thing I will say is that you're probably going to hear it easy a lot more Definitely. than you would normally <laughs> when he's mic'd up. Right, right. <laughs> easy work on three, one, two, three. Easy work! work. Yes, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going beneath the surface to the best position on the team, the inside linebackers, of course. Up next, we got Jayon Brown and Rashawn Evans. Welcome back. It's the Lumberjack. And this week's on Beneath the Surface, Coach Mack sits down with two of the best young players on our team and in the NFL, Jayon and Rashawn. I'm here with two of the most exciting young players in the National Football League. Rashawn, watch, talk to me a little bit here. Your versatility, watch where you're lined up here and tell me what's going through your mind as far as when you're lined up on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, so right now, I'm, I'm just in a B guy right now, just playing as like a three technique. I see the out of the corner of my eye, I see the jet coming. I'm like, sure, I'm just going to make a move and try to see if I can penetrate. And sure, obviously, he kind of did the work for me, and uh, I was able to get down on it. I love the pre-snap awareness. That's outstanding. Two of the most versatile inside linebackers in the National Football League right here for many years to come. Very valuable for a defensive coordinator. Now what we're doing right here, talk to me a little bit here about what's going on, Jayon, with your alignment on this two-man stack. All right, so right now we got a zero blitz, and our check is to get Rashawn into the blitz, and I'll take his responsibility with the coverage. So Rashawn is reminding me of that right now, and then I see we're on the goal line, so I want to get my heels no deeper than that white line, and and just be ready to play really good technique. You guys communicate very well with one another. Talk to me a little bit about, about Rashad. Now you're coming, you're timing on this blitz in the B gap. Yeah, so right now it's me and Jayon communicating. Jayon's in coverage, so I'm, I'm the one now doing the Baker blitz since the back is split out. So right now I'm basically telling the D-line, like, look, I'm Baker going in that B gap and trying to create some type of, you know, disruption back there in that backfield. Very nice. Jayon, talk to me about just your positioning on the hip. And what I loved about this, you shot your glove hand. You didn't panic. You waited right to the end. This is tremendous coverage by a linebacker. Oh, yeah, no doubt. We saw the running backs and tight ends split out in this uh, position before on film. And just knowing these, the stack alignment that he can have a two-way go to break inside or outside. So let DB press and I play it off and just wait it patiently. And, uh, Unfortunately, these guys kind of ran into each other a little bit and messed up their timing and just made a really good break on the ball. All right, let's talk about this. Huge, huge goal line play. Talk to me right here, Rashawn. Tell me your keys, what you're looking at, what your trigger point is right here, which is very, very valuable. Oh, so right now, originally, I, I know I got the A gap. I see the back basically like, kind of like gun far type formation almost, but it's gun near. So I was like, shoot, I see they take my A gap, and I'm like, I'm going to replace them, and I'm going to just fit off on the running back. And people don't understand how quick this has to happen, how all this has to quickly go through your mind because this is a critical junction in this football game. This is gonna be a coverage aspect for you, Jayon, right here. As you see, you, you're in coverage, you're dropping off in the slot. Tell me when you know the trigger, when the, the pass breaks down and the quarterback starts to improvise. So right here, we're in uh, one of our many cover one coverages and we got, we got two rat players outside and as soon as uh, Matt Ryan right here just got outside the tackle box and tried to scramble, you know, I had to trigger and, uh, and make a good play to get us off the field on fourth down. 
And this is a huge fourth down play. To play linebacker in this league, you've got to be decisive. You've got to trust what you're seeing, pre-snap and post-snap. But you also have to have the ability to pull that trigger and have confidence in yourself. I really have loved watching the development of you two guys. As I said, two of the best young inside linebackers in this league, Jayon Brown, Rashawn Evans. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having very us. cool. Very cool. When Titans All Access returns, Wesley Woodyard gathers all of his inside linebacker brethren together for a victory cigar and some great conversation. Stay tuned for more of the Player Takeover edition of Titans All Access. Everybody don't get a chance to play linebacker in this league. So, David, I'm going to start with you. Um, youngest. You know, youngest man in the room, youngest guy right now. So. What's your first experience of linebacker playing in the NFL? First experience, man. It's a blessing. 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 It's a great to be around. You know, you great folks. Man, you're welcome. Uh, Najah, what, what about you, my man? I know this is uh, this. You've been on. I've been on a couple teams, and you know, you had an injury and uh, following fall. I mean, summer camp, but we're glad mm -hmm. to have my brother back. Hey, all I can say is, man, it's great to be back, man. We're gonna continue putting this work in and just continue to get better every day with the fellas. That's all. Yes, yeah. Now, Darren. Yes, sir. Everybody in the building has been blown away with this easy, easy work. Easy, easy, easy. So I, I feel like we're all wolves, but if it's one thing we do, it's gonna be easy. So what's the inspiration behind that? Inspiration, man. It's, it's a lot of things, but it boils down to one thing. When you say easy, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. like you take that lifestyle of a linebacker. Just think of, you know, you, a linebacker, what you think of a linebacker? You think of hard nose, hard nose, grit, yeah. 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 grit, tough, yeah. tough, tough. Yeah. That's what easy means. It's as simple as that. That's what easy is. Easy work, easy, easy work. So Jr. Yeah, coming from, you know, what some people say, LBU, UCLA. Okay. You know, what's something that you've learned playing with some of those great linebackers and something that you could pass on one day to these up and coming linebackers that want to be Jayon Brown, because I see a lot of number 55s in that stadium, and I know that does something to you. Man. So what would be some advice to a young linebacker who's going to see this right here? Man, I would say love the grind. Oh, you got a lot of grind, gotcha. a lot of dudes that you that you play around, play with, and when you go out on that field, you know. You know, do you. You feel me? You've been doing this all your life. Yeah. It ain't nothing new. You've been playing this since you was eight. Mm -hmm. Just legit, you feel me? So. Yeah, nothing changed. So, so brother Rashawn, like I like I alluded to earlier, you guys had a tradition in Bama of, of getting together at the big wins and smoking stogies together. That camaraderie ship. Could you allude a little bit more of, of what's the meaning behind the cigars at the University of Bama? Because because if I'm a recruit, I see yeah. I see razor blades. So oh, I'm dog. like, man, that I want to be that oh, one. Dog. I feel like just. With a, with, a, with a great program like Alabama. It's, it's all about tradition. We've always, you know, sold ourselves on the tradition. That's what we sell to these young guys and, and these recruits. I understand that it's not just all about X's and O's. It's about a brotherhood, being able to bring a young guy to come up in there and for an older guy to bring up on his wing and being able to celebrate something that's, that's prestigious as smoking a cigar at the dub. Because, you know, football is life to these fans. So they won't get away with that at all. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it. Honestly, you are going to get into it. <laughs> To the college competition because we already know Kentucky is the best college. By the way, uh, South Florida, go Bulls. Speaking of college uh, uh, competition, uh, uh, shout out to Auburn and the Auburn Nashville uh, Association. We're trying to beat Alabama in the food drive. Keep doing that. Hey, roll time, roll time, baby. You already know what it is, man. Bro so, Nation, stand up. So you heard it first here from the Titans LBs. Brother Bates said it best, man. It's easy work coming from us. So we're going to close this thing out, man. All right, fellas. Let's end it like we always do. Let yes, me get sir. it easy work on three. One, two, three. Easy, easy work. work. On three. <laughs> <laughs>is this 2v2? Yeah. yeah. 
What gun do I have? The yeah, IP5. Oh, they set you. Oh, it's 3 3 3 3. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I ain't getting. First of all, y'all got y'all got like four people in your squad. That's what I was thinking. Like, bro, I didn't get a kill. Oh, what is that? It's a tap X twice. That's C4. You're going crazy. There you go. See? Double kill. Yes, sir. Stop playing with me. You got the shot y'all? Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Two people got murdered. A shot! That's two piece. That's Double two kill. Piece. Oh my goodness. We got to reload? I didn't have to reload. Nope. Double go. kill on him. There you go. Well, I'm two for two, you two for one. That's right. Come right here. That's free. Man. Can't see. Oh, there you go. Where you at? KB flanked him. Right KB flanked him. Nice flank. Yeah, but did you see me trying to shoot him, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right, match point. Let's ride. Why are we so deep? <laughs> What do you shoot me with? The same gun you got. Jeez, you saw how quick you killed me? That joint is a one shot kill. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Maybe it's a burst. It's a yeah. I was holding Three it round burst. Hey, I started holding it down. I wasn't shooting. Still got the dub, though. You know what I'm saying? Easy, easy clout. Ain't all about, ain't always about the stats. You feel me? It's about the dub. It's about the win. <laughs> Four or two. I just want to let y'all know I'm about to smack Dane right now. My boy, big cap. My boy about to get murked. Look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a major sideline trash talker, so these boys out here oh, stinking it up, I'm talking major trash. 1v1? He got the carbon with the scope. Ooh. I got a hit marker. Ooh. Get him! Who at the bottom of the screen? Who that, Dane? Yeah, I got smacked. Oh. Dane is hiding in the back. Look at Dane, bro. <laughs> Dang. Are y'all on different team? Yeah, we're on different team. Oh, you know. oh, somebody out here marking. Oh, oh, who is that? Wow. Oh, good headshot. There you go, Dane. Okay. I'm rocking, man. <laughs> you know, what are you using, Dane? Shotty? Nah, I'm cool. using the MK2. Damn, Austin, you got a kill yet, bro. Yeah. No kills yet. Don't cost your team to loss, man. You feel me? You gotta hold it down, MVP. You better pop up right there. Uh, right there. Throw a grenade. Full metal jacket, something. Oh, get him. Oh, where did I get shot from? Yeah. Skunk? Yeah. Bro, his computer got six and one, five and three, mine got two and four, and I'm second place in one and four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they ain't getting hey, the computer know where the computer at. That's what it is. They ain't got good bots, man. Man, forget this. I'm out. I'm you better just go rush. I'm running. What you think I'm doing? Head down. Oh, uh, he didn't even aim. You yeah, had to. Well, you were running. Four or two one. right now. What type of mask he have on? Okay, finally got a, finally got a W. Chance off. Don't tell. What type of mask he have on? Finally got a W. First blood. Right there, right? To your right. To your right, Dan. Oh. Fell into something. C4. Oh, get him. Wow. Get your aim right, son. Hey, what am I doing? Match point. Had his, had his guns out. Oh, yeah. Shot him, shoot him. Oh, long shot. Like, with the shotty. Have him have it out. Ooh. Have it out. Oh. Oh. Panic, oh, panic, sad. Molotov. Somebody see all right. Oh. Blow it up. Inside, inside. Oh, it's a rat. That's all I can do. That's my team of It's a rat. Good game. Next time. You definitely did <laughs> We're not done yet with this Titans takeover. When we come back, it's good news and good night. Stick around. On the next Titans All Access, Derrick Henry finds room up the middle. He's to the 35 to the 40. Midfield, 40, 30. Number 22, the 2015 Heisman Trophy winner. The man who carries the load for the Tennessee Titans. 20, 10, 5, end zone. 
Derrick Henry sets down to share his thoughts on his 2019 season so far and what he expects from the season's final six games. Ladies and gentlemen, 69 yards, Derrick Henry, touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry on the next Titans All Access. This is the last segment. What do I do now? Hey, you jabronis, let's go back in here. This is, uh, I think you're over there. Oh, I'm sorry. You can Hurry. Stand here. Sorry, Wesley. Hurry. Thank Don't you. Don't be a rookie. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, this is where we do good news. Okay. So let's talk about Wesley Woodyard's 16 Ways Foundation. That's a good thing. Tell people what your foundation does. Well, yeah, here, people. We got the 16 Ways Foundation. That's a great cause. We work with at risk kids in the community. Right now, we have our great program in the state of Georgia where we mentor our young kids and we're just doing so much in these kids' lives. You know, somebody got to beat them into shape, and that's what my foundation does. You know, we're working in the community, giving out free books, you know, improving the health and health in our, our high school kids in uh, Georgia. So we're doing big things. We're doing big things. You're really a nice guy. Ah. You are a nice guy. You thank are. You, I, I got nothing else. We were taken over. It happened. For Amy Wells and Wesley Woodyard, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you, maybe, next time. Wow.